Hope you all are doing well today. Thanks for joining me for our Advent lesson. We are on day seven. Day seven of Advent. Thanks for being here with me this afternoon. It's our countdown to Christmas. And so today what I want to share with you is from this card. Now for those of you that may have missed it before, we are going through the She Reads Truth Advent kids conversation cards and so you can get your own set of these if you'd like um, at the she reads truth store but um, this is what I've chosen to share with you all every day as we count down to Christmas so thank you for joining me so for day seven day seven uh, we are gonna look at Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 through 7 so go ahead and get out your Bible and I'll give you just a minute to go ahead and get that out and get turned to Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. I want you to read along with me. And even if you have a different version of the Bible, um, it may the words may be a little different, but it's going to mean the same thing. And so read along with me as we read our scripture for today. Isaiah chapter 6. For... I mean, Isaiah chapter 9, sorry, verse 6. For a child will be born for us, a child, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and Prince of Peace. The dominion will be vast, and its prosperity will never end. He will reign on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish and sustain it. With justice and righteousness from now on and forever. Isn't that exciting? I think so. The zeal of the Lord of armies will accomplish this. So, looking at that passage, we have a couple of questions to discuss today. So, number one, who is the child in this verse? Who is the child that's being referenced? Do you know who it's talking about? baby Jesus. That's right. That's the child that is that is coming to us to be our Savior, a Messiah, our Redeemer, baby Jesus. And that's whose birthday we celebrate at Christmas, right? Um, question number two. What are some of the names the prophet Isaiah said Jesus would be called? So let's refer back to our passage. And if you look down at the end of verse six, you will see he will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and Prince of Peace. You know, when we used to have children's church over in the chapel, that was one of their favorite songs to sing, um, was the Prince of Peace. Love, um, love that song and its meaning um, because he is our Prince of Peace. He came to be our Prince of Peace. And then also, if you look down at the end of verse 7, it says, The zeal of the Lord of Armies will accomplish this. So who's going to accomplish this wonderful kingdom, this never-ending kingdom that it's talking about? Jesus, that's right. And so what do these, question number three, what do these names tell us about Jesus? What does it mean to be a wonderful counselor? Well, we can go to him with anything, right? He is wonderful, and we can go to Him and talk to Him, and His wisdom is perfect. We should seek His wisdom. He should be our counsel. Um, mighty God. Do you think God is mighty? Absolutely. I do. I think He's so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. You know that song, don't you? Um, eternal Father. Eternal. What does eternal mean? Never ending. He will always be our Father. Once we um, accept Him and, and decide to follow Him and make that profession of faith, He will always be our Father. He will never leave us. He will never leave us. Eternal Father. Forever. Prince of Peace. So we said we like that song, but what does it mean? What does it mean to be a prince? He's a leader, right? A prince of peace. He's the one that's leading peace. And then Lord of Armies. He's the leader of all the armies, right? He's the King of Kings. God Almighty. My God is so strong. So mighty. So those are what those names mean. And those are some names that uh, the prophet Isaiah has said that Jesus will be called. Um, 
as we prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus, let us not forget that we also need to prepare for the return of Jesus, right? And so um, make sure you're spending time in his word every day. Make sure you're reading his Bible. Listen, if you can't read, get somebody in your house to read to you. Read this passage, Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. And then we had talked about early on in our Advent last week when we started this on December 1st, um, maybe a, a jar or a basket that you would leave on the counter and you would uh, do these challenges and put your notes in there so you can reflect back on them. Maybe next Christmas, you look back in this jar and see what was on your heart this Christmas season. What were your thoughts this Christmas season? So here's today's challenge. Write down Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Now, if you have these conversation cards of your own, there's actually a card in here that has the scripture on it, and I'll show you mine. I do love these sweet cards. See here? Here's the card with the verse on it. It says Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and Prince of Peace. So I want you to get you a card if you don't have this set. That's okay. Make your own card. Make your card. I want you to write down this scripture, but before you put it in the jar, I want you to use spend time this week memorizing this verse. Memorize this verse and then put it in your jar. So next year at Christmas, you can pull it out and then think about this verse as you prepare for next Christmas. Um, or maybe you'll love this verse so much that you just keep it posted in your house somewhere. Maybe um, on your nightstand or on your mirror in your bedroom or maybe even in your bathroom. So when you get up every day, you see this and you're reminded, especially during the Christmas season, especially during the Christmas season, that we are celebrating Jesus, wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal father, prince of peace. So I hope that encourages you today. Um, Read this passage. Share it as a family. Hey, kids, when dad gets home from work today or when mom gets home from work today, pull out the Bible. Read them this passage. Tell them what we talked about. Jesus is, come. Jesus is coming, right? His birthday is what we're celebrating. And he's coming again. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal father, prince of peace. Make sure your parents think about this as well. All right, so there's your challenge for today. So, sweet baby Jesus. Wasn't born in some fancy hospital room, was he? No. Born in a stable, laid in a manger. That's where our Jesus was born. So, there you have it for today, day number seven. I love you guys. I will see you uh, back here tomorrow at four o'clock for day eight of our Advent countdown. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.